So, continuing with Airborne, here attach several real product data sheets, okay? Covering all topics we have mentioned. Uh, check all of them, please check them all out. I will provide them, all of them, attached to the course. Moreover, if any question comes up, please do not hesitate contacting me. Remark here, all data provided it is accessible in Google, okay? They are pretty much commercial data sheets. I just Googled them and I found them. Okay, so they are free to use commercial data sheets. So for now, I would like to check three of them with you guys. They are pretty much um, covering the whole SysGin systems, uh, but please do consider checking them all. For the time being, we're gonna go through Signal Intelligence from Electronica, then L3 Harris, and then EAE. All of them are top companies worldwide, so quite solid reference to consider. The first one, there we go, Electronica. As you can see here, uh, we are talking about a light combat helicopter, okay? And what do we have? So, there we go, if we scroll down a little bit, here we have a processor, a, as a uh, yeah, main processor center, we have also the sensor. A spiral antenna typically covering 2 to 18 gigs. This is quite a standard. This is for radar warning system. As, as we have mentioned some chapters ago, radar warning, fast response, fast uh, interception, sorry, um, with a rough angle of arrival detection and signal uh, interception, but it's fast, okay? It's fast and almost immediately covering a uh, typically four sectors. I'm making a total of uh, 360 degrees. And just but once again, please do consider uh, taking your time and checking it. Uh, as you can, as I mentioned, high, some system highlights. Uh, let's have a look. High interception of probability, full azimuth coverage, of course. Um, then wideband, okay, frequency range, the E from 2 to 18 up to K band, which is up to four, uh, 40 gigs. A automatic warning priority. That means that we are processing and we are classifying and doing some threat management. Okay, this is uh, based on the raw data library, mission data that we are having. We correlate our detection to this uh, already existing uh, threat on our database. So as mentioned, analyze, classify, display, record, okay, the full capabilities, controlling here, electronic warfare controller, quite lightweight because it should be for an airborne, developed for airborne, and in this case it's light helicopter. And yeah, it's quite a really detailed uh, data sheet. Here you have more helicopters, um, the C-130, Airborne solution. Okay, here we have more models. Please do consider. Oh, that's quite nice. This one. Look. Look at this one. Uh, with <laughs> another platform with different crazy shapes and antennas, and as you can imagine, all electronic warfare. More helicopter than in NH90. Okay, quite common here in Europe. There we go, more solution, direction finding antennas, processing unit. Okay, here as you can imagine, we have a little bit more gain, okay, than in uh, any spiral antenna. Uh, please do have a look into system highlights. Okay, I'm just want to to show you real examples, but now is your task, now is your homework to really go through all of the data sheet point by point and related them to what we just mentioned, the theoretical part, and some of our schematics and drawings uh, related to our architecture. Um, you can check. You will find all these terms that we just mentioned, pulse, intrapulse, fine analysis, L in functionals, okay, including GTAR, stagger, uh, pulse, repetition frequency, pulse repetition interval, okay. 
Um, this is uh, quite lengthy. There we go. Here we have ESM system as well with the main receiver and processing unit, direction finding module, and antennas. Okay, they are basically connected each other. Uh, sensors to the DF module. Okay, here we have mainly four channels. Okay, four antennas, four sensors. We connect here. Pam, 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 pam. Okay, typically. We have some controlling power units. Okay, and these controlling and power units are mainly coming from the receiver and processing unit or for a separate, but it could mainly typically is connected here because we want the receiver and the processing unit is the one uh, controlling the DF module. Okay, here you have three more RF um, inputs coming from our DF module. Okay, um, yes, yeah, system highlight, you can have a look here, frequency range, um, let me see what else we can find, commercial, mm, commercial airplanes here, more digital receiver, the RF distributor, you can see here plenty of RF inputs, so this is basically interconnecting uh, several sensors and switching them and processing them in just RF, okay, just RF. Um, so this is like a switching matrix, okay. And the output, of course, goes to the digital receiver. What else do we have here? Or oh, electronic is offering. Then we have, of course, ground base. As you can see here, we typically have some spinning antenna. This is pretty much obvious. A spinning under a radium and a omnidirectional antenna. Okay. And once again, a real example. Uh, typically, they install here some power supply, some down conversion, and electronic in order to, as close as possible to the antenna, in order to avoid all this length, all this mast distance in terms of uh, RF losses. Okay, so that's convenient. Then we have here some really cool interfaces. This is how it looks in front of operator, operator or console point of view. Okay, you can have a look here. Um, spectrum, some data, some PWs, yeah, pretty much everything you need. Uh, what else? Let's have a look. Airborne, ground, yeah, naval. Mm -mm -mm. What else here? Product, of course, as we just mentioned, ESM, Communication ESM, radar warning receiver, missile warning system, laser warning system, pretty much all of them, okay? So please, once again, have a look. Some cool drones here. Uh, more radar warnings. In this case, we are using six, six elements, okay? Six channels covering the platform that we want to cover. Uh, drones, drones, drones. What else? Nice drones, mm -mm -mm -mm. fighters, that's such a cool, this famous tornado, Eurofighter, a, a typical pot, okay, typical pot with different electronics on the sides, and also two jammer, as you can see, we also mentioned here, uh, these pots are used for jammer, okay, you can see here, jammering, jamming, sorry. Um, typically located uh, in front and on the rear. Antennas Vivaldi usually are, are used for, for jamming, transmitting, due to high gain. And sinusoid uh, for direction finding, for ESM. So we have both everything implemented, integrated on the, on the same pod. Let's have a look. Automotive, mm, command and control, ESM, more ESM, uh, more ECM, sorry, counter measurement. Here you have the antenna jamming. That's quite cool, eh? Look how it's open. Let's, I want to show you. There we go. This is quite, quite cool for carrier frame. Okay, yep. More ECM, antenna group, different sectors as you can imagine, and then all the electronics installed on a yeah, cabinet. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much a rack 
all the receivers, power supply, controlling, everything there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So more, as you can see, more system. Just take a time, take a time, and and check everything in detail. Okay. So now it's time, I think, for L3 Harris. Here, this one is shorter, but this gives you a really good. And I have selected it because it gives you a really good um, feeling. As you can see here, we have uh, ESM linear arrays. You see the distribution, the allocation of them. They are subplanar, they are linear, distributed, the same max. They have different tuners. We have uh, direction finders, okay, receiver options. Uh, we have uh, digital, you can see here. You can see here the sensor which is connected to from the frequency range very high frequency ultra high frequency we have omnidirectional spinner uh, antennas oh and all of them once again interconnected all together for the same platform we also have some gps so all the concepts all the sensor we just mentioned could be integrated together in the same platform it just depends on the requirements and the space available and the mission that the platform should be developed for. Um, frequency ranges, you can see here, angle of arrival is assigned bandwidth, sensitivity, that's quite low. Um, here listed, you have several uh, units with a rough description, band, size, so please do consider having a look and then you can really see how they look like. Huh? That's quite interesting. Have all the pictures here. That's quite, quite interesting. And some rough description. Okay, for our Elin and ESN system chapter. And last but not least, we have some, the last uh, data sheet I wanted to mention here, coming from our Israelis colleagues. Space and Airborne, ESM Elin, okay, we have satellites, we have uh, more drones, uh, this beautiful uh, platform here, <laughs> uh, let's have a look, long range, over the horizon interception, low probability intercept signals, airborne, onboard ESM Elin and coming, okay, the whole spectrum, Operating support network center on board operation via unified SIGIN center. It's not clear, but you can see here on the right side, they are not typical people just uh, traveling. They are basically operators, each of them with uh, a console, of course, to control the sensor. So this is a manned, this is not a drone, this is a manned um, platform, airborne platform. We have more digital receiver processor, ground-based alien and radar integration, more ground-based, so please just take your time and, and enjoy because that's quite cool. Naval solutions here, we have full spectrum, different areas for maritime and for also submarines, mass antenna rate, that's amazing. And here, a uh, quite unique uh, terminal. As you can see, this one is really showing a clear uh, model, right? A clear model of what the operator work with. More explanation, unified signal center. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, so once again, please do consider checking out all these three and the rest of them, they will basically blow your mind. <laughs> they will basically illuminate your already existing uh, theoretical background. And that helps, that helps, okay? So take your time. I know this is quite lengthy, but take your time. You will really understand and let me know if you have any, any further question, okay? So let's continue, guys. <laughs>